Hi Aries, welcome to your monthly tarot reading with me, Raphael Ray from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you, thank you so much. So, as you have probably noticed, new digs. Um, I did mention this in one of my videos. Um, this uh, current Uranus in Uranus, Uranus uh, transit into Taurus um, is doing exciting things and it started doing exciting things before I'd even um, really had a chance to let it settle in. So, thank you so much for your uh, patience. Aries, let's see what the month of July 2018 has in store for you. So, before we start, I would like to bless both of these decks with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity, and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise, and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So, let's have a look at your actions and your interactions with the world at large for the month of July. Okay, so, the Three of Wands. This is a beautiful card. So, you've got a fire card in the fire sector to start the month off with. And, you know, the Three of Wands itself is a great card anyway, because the Three of Wands talks about your ship coming in, it talks about good times, it talks about you looking to expand your vision for your life, it talks about you like the guy on the card. He's looking outward into the world, he's waiting for the ships to come in. This, to me though, very much, this is going to be about a, a month about reaping rewards. Uh, don't worry, we're going to talk about the solar eclipse. There's going to be a whole special video about that anyway, so keep an eye out for it. Um, but in terms of your actions and your interactions with the world at large, it's kind of like the Three of Wands. It's about expansion of vision. It's about looking out there. It's also about allowing the things that you have put out into the universe or the world to be reverberated back at you. It's one thing to ask. It's one thing to plant a seed, but you then need to nurture that seed and allow it to grow. Um, you know, and when I say nurture the seed, give it what it needs and then let it do the rest. And the Three of Wands talks very much about that. It can talk about short trips. It can talk about, um, you know, not necessarily overseas trips. It's usually like a weekend break. Weekend break could be overseas, you never know. But it's usually like a short trip that is kind of closer to home. It's something that happens in your vicinity, but it's kind of like a, a mini break from the norm. Um, so there's that aspect of it. But this, to me, this feels like a, a reaping of a reward. It feels like this month, you're finally starting to see some return from the efforts that you've put in. You're finally starting to hear some of the good news that you're, you know, you've put things out there, you've done the work, you've tended to the seeds or the garden, and now you start to see some of the fruit ripen, or now you start to get some of that back. This is also a card of mini windfalls as well. Um, it can sometimes bring you like a, a little blessing in the form of, uh, you know, like a monetary gift or um, something that somebody blesses you with or boons you with, as the old term says. Yeah, but uh, the way that I see this and the, the expansion of vision aspect of this card comes when you can just allow things to happen. And this is what I was talking about, you know, to tend to a seed, you don't have to constantly be on it and watching it. You know, you give it what it needs and then it, you just let it come to you. You let it grow into fruition. This is going to be a month where you learn to do that. This is going to be a month where you almost like allow other people to bring you what you need or to give you what you need. You've put your intention out there of what you want and what you would like. And this month it's about kind of letting that come to you. You know, it's a very lucky card though, the Three of Wands. Very, very lucky card. So... Your money and your materials. Let's see. Ooh. Okay, so Lady Justice is popped out there. So your money and your materials. This is interesting as well because, you know, like I said, this was about uh, letting things come to you. And then you get the Justice card, which is contracts. It is signing documents. It is... Um, all things legal, it is all things fair. One of the things about the Justice card though is it also represents choice. This is talking about your money, you know, your money and your materials. It represents the sign of Libra. And the sign of Libra is all to do with, um, you know, what is fair, what is equal, what is best for all people. And then you've got this here, which is like a mini windfall. 
Um, the two together, one of the things that I want to say to you is if you are blessed with something this month, don't let somebody take it from underneath you. Um, if a blessing comes your way in terms of money and finances, if you feel to share it, absolutely do. Um, if you are being forced to share it, however, absolutely don't. Um, it needs to be your conscious decision. It needs to be your choice. Uh, but your money and your materials this month looks good. It looks like actually your balance in the books. Some of you will be seeking out accountants. Some of you will be having conversations about money. Some of you might even be having uh, interviews for a higher pay bracket or, you know, this isn't necessarily about a promotion. It's about the money. It's about the finance, whether that's being paid more for what you do, whether it's, um, you know, your responsibility goes up. So therefore your employer says, well, actually, we're going to have to change your pay bracket or or your title is changed it's not so much about a promotion it's more about a change in um, what's seen as fair to be given to you for what you do for the effort that you expend um, which is lovely you know if you can get you know the right money for the the job and the work and the effort that you put in lovely um, and yeah like I said if there is a blessing that comes your way in a financial you know as a financial reward um, if you feel to share it, do. If you're being forced to or being guilt tripped or anything like that, don't do it. Um, you know, stick to your guns. I mean, you're an Aries, right? So you're going to anyway, but you get my drift. <laughs> um, yeah, so money looks good this month. Money looks like you're getting more for, you know, you're getting more for your time, more for your efforts. You know, there's more fairness around what you are given and uh, what you are receiving. So your communications. You got the um, Knight of Swords. So Knight of Swords talks about <laughs> the Knight of Swords sees you kind of. Um, I, you know, I'm just going to say it. You guys know me by now. Um, the Knight of Swords is very much an experience where you have fraught communication. It can be aggressive communication, it, you know, because this card is a communicative card anyway. It's a sword card. Swords are all to do with the intellect, with your communication patterns, your communication style. The Knights themselves are experiences. They are situations that arise. When you see the Knight of Swords, this is about you defending some kind of viewpoint. It's about you being virtuous. Uh, it's about you charging off on your horse and saying right i'm not having that da, 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 you know really kind of getting into that mood and that mode excuse me now the interesting thing is that you've got the justice card here and the justice card as i said was you know is the sign of libra it's also to do with fairness it's also to, so to do with choice this could see you very well defending somebody else defending somebody else's viewpoint defending you know somebody that doesn't really appear to be able to do it for themselves uh, be cautious of that two reasons one you end up kind of getting that messiah complex and two it could possibly turn into you taking away that person's need to have that experience you know mars is going retrograde it's going retrograde for everybody in whatever sector now if you step in on somebody's behalf because you can see that they genuinely cannot fight for themselves or cannot speak up for themselves then that's fine that's fair enough you know that's great it's actually um, a, a really virtuous thing to do however if that person can do it but is choosing not to it may well be that they're having that experience because they usually choose not to and they need to have that experience they need to be forced into a place where they will fight for and defend themselves and if you come in on your white horse and start doing it for them they can then continue to take that back seat they continue then not to take the responsibility um and that's a bad thing because they're in you know bad such a crap term sorry that's not um a very beneficial experience for them because you have taken that ability for them to learn to fight for themselves and it's not a beneficial experience for you because you're fighting somebody else's battle even though you are a soldier even though you are a warrior even though you are the warrior of the zodiac you know you are the one that is the strategizer the you know all of that stuff that's what you do and you do it well. How about then you take that experience and that frustration and stuff and you teach somebody else to fight the battle for themselves? 
that would be a really amazing expression of um, of your power because it means that you're in control of it. It would also be an amazing expression and a very beneficial experience for that person because not only can they learn to fight, but they're learning to fight from the best, you know, the best source in the zodiac, which is you guys. Um, so yeah, communications look fraught this month, um, you know, in terms of the conversations that you're having, but it will be by your choice. You know, the communication will be hard and it will be difficult, but. Um, only by your choice and it's probably because you're going to be choosing to fight someone else's battle don't do that uh, find a way to let them fight the battle themselves and you can stand there and watch and supervise you know and that would be a really good way to do it as well um okay in your heart and your hearth so this is like your intimate relationships your family your friends lover boyfriend girlfriend husband, wife, um, you know, for those of you that have both of those. <laughs> um, you have the Ace of Swords, uh, the Ace of Swords, the King of Swords. Now this is really, really interesting. So Aries, your direct opposite uh, in the Zodiac is Libra. Now, although this card itself as a standalone represents a, um, it represents the sign of Aquarius, You've got the Justice card here, which is Libra, which is an air sign. You've got the Knight of Swords here, which is air again. And then you've got the King of Swords here, which is air again. So you've got a lot of fire, where well, you've got, you know, so it's a really good bit of fire, but you've got all of this air. This is gonna see you. Um, now, my astrology teacher uh, always says, if you don't live out the best of your, if you don't fulfill your sun sign, then you are uh, you will be forced to wallow in the worst aspects of your opposite sign and your opposite sign is the sign of libra but this spread for me for you guys this month suggests that actually you can revel in the best of what it means to be an aries and you can do it through the guise of discovering how to be the best of your opposite sign as well so what do I mean by that? Aries is about the self, it's about the ego, it's about the drive, it's about the passion, it's about the fire, you know, the fire in, you know, right in your loins that makes you get, in, look how I'm getting now, you know, I've got uh, Mars is in Aquarius, I'm Aquarius, so, you know, I can I can feel that energy, I'm, I'm really tapping into it and the retrograde is gonna be an experience, to say the least. Um, let me know how that pans out for you guys as well, because obviously, you know, there's the reciprocation there. So you guys are Aries, but your ruling planet is in the sign of Aquarius. Let me know how that's going for you and, and you know, how it pans out, what it means. So the King of Swords, who is the King of Swords? The King of Swords is um, somebody that's at the height of their game. This is very often a lawyer. Uh, it could be an accountant. It could be a doctor. It could be a police officer. This is usually somebody that's older, usually somebody that's very learned, very skilled. Um, and when you get this, in the experience of your home, you, you know, your home and your hearth, this is about, you know, finding the best mature aspects of your love, of your ability to relate, of your ability to be a partner. Um, this is, you know, finding the best self that you can be to almost be the authority in your family, almost be the authority in your relationship and not to rule with an iron fist. This is about coming from a place of maturity, a place of wisdom, a place of respect and really being able to inject that, that cool, airy, uh, communicative, you know, inspirational aspect of self and you know pulling all of that together and pouring it into your relationship so that you know your boyfriend girlfriend you know husband wife whatever your significant other starts to look at you and think wow you know what they're leading the relationship and i'm happy to let them lead the relationship because i don't feel like i'm being led i don't feel like i'm being forced i feel like i'm being supported and nurtured and cajoled even into being and doing i got goosebumps right now you know relationships for you guys this month are going to be beautiful because you're going to be tapping into the best aspects of yourself and understanding what it is to be the other self um even if you're not 
uh, you know, a, a Libra rising, you know, with an Aries sun, watch the Libra video this month just to see what comes up because it might give you some pointers towards this stuff. You know, I find very often that's kind of what happens and it's really interesting. In your family, whether you're the head of the family, whether you're just one of the kids in the family, you know, you're, you're 18 and everybody else is older or whatever, you have a lot of wisdom to share. You have a lot of emotional intelligence. This card represents intelligence. We're talking about your home and your half, your emotions. This represents you finding a place of true emotional intelligence this month and being able to demonstrate it to other people in an amazing way. And finally, your key to the month. What tarot has in stock? That card seems to want to pop out, so I'm just going to go with it. You have the Judgment card. Now, the Judgment card represents a blast from the past. Um, and, you know, with all the retrograde in stuff that's taking place at the moment, I kind of get that that's going to, there is, for all of us, in some way, shape, or form, in some sector of life, there is going to be a blast from the past. There's going to be something or someone that comes back and just really kind of, you know, sets a cat amongst the pigeons. But this is going to be a good cat. It's not going to be one that, you know, wants to rip the shreds out of all of the pigeons. Um, it's probably not a very good analogy, but I, I, I'm trying to find the words to convey what I mean. The judgment card always precedes change. Um, and it's the kind of change that comes about from being able to re-examine something in your past. So it's almost like you you have the chance to redo something that's come, you know, that's come about. Now the interesting thing is, judgment card is ruled by Sagittarius, which is about meaning, belief systems, structures, higher learning, philosophy, uh, law even. And this is really interesting. So if you look at this center line here, now we're gonna do the, the conjunctions. When you see this center line here, you are looking at somebody that is very learned, very skilled. Some of you will be having conversations of a legal nature. Uh, there may well be contracts to sign. Uh, there may well be, um, my thoughts on this is actually it goes very well for you. Um, this part of it means that there are going to be, you know, there's going to be some decisions that have to be made this month that will have to really be thought out and thought through. But there's definitely somebody of a really professional ilk that graces your life this month. Um, and you could learn a lot from them and you could gain a lot going forward. The, um, you know, this, like I said, this is about fairness and it's about, you know, keeping what is, what's yours is yours. If you choose to share it, that's your choice. Don't fight somebody else's battles for them. Uh, this, you know, the heart and the, the home and half and the communications, this kind of tells me that you're bringing a wisdom and an emotional intelligence, how to school your own emotions so that you can communicate clearly. Um, to see an Aries that has full command of their emotions and expresses them through words, that could be a really scarily powerful person, you know, because that's raw power and raw energy channeled through the mind into a single sharp, you know, whew, just the thought of it alone actually gives me shivers. This is a really powerful month for you, Aries, and it's like the the way that I'm feeling this. Maybe it is the the Mars retrograde. You know, Mars is in Aquarius, which is you know, which is an air sign. It's that fire and that drive channeled through the air. So it's the, you know, oxygen feeds the fire. It's that that you know that I can't even get the words out because it's it's like the way that I'm seeing it is it's like the fire is channeled through the air it's cooled to the Game of Thrones you've all seen Game of Thrones um you know 95 percent of the population of the world has seen Game of Thrones the blue fire of the 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 new dragon that has arisen that is what you have here that is the potential that you have here if you can focus and channel your fire through the air this month and you can be cool and calm and detached from your feelings, your ability to express yourself, your ability to command, respect, um, you know, dividends, whatever, this month is truly, truly astonishing and powerful. Um, and I will be looking out to see 
you know, what you guys have to say this month, because I know so many Aries, my mum is an Aries, and various, many others in my life. I wish you an abundance of love, light, peace, prosperity, and abundance itself. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, or thumbs up this video. It means the absolute world that you do, and I can't believe how many numbers are climbing, you know, on the Radiant Reality page. I'm so grateful for it. I That so many of you resonate with what I do is just you know it, it makes me so humbled if this video has helped you in any way shape or form you can donate on the link below that is of course completely your truth i will see you very soon for the eclipse special take care and i'll see you very soon bye